In this exercise, we're being asked to determine if two lines in space are parallel to one another. Now, in two dimensions, this was really straightforward. We remember from our old algebra days that if two lines had the same slope, then they were parallel. They ran side by side and they went in the same direction. But in three-dimensional space, it's a lot harder to visualize these lines and, and tell if they're parallel or not. Um, but in, in fact, if you know how to, it's actually not too difficult at all. Um, the key to being parallel in space is having the same direction vector. Well, and, and actually not even the exact same direction vector. Really, you just have to have one vector being a scalar multiple of the other. The vectors, the direction vectors have to be pointing in the same direction. So that's that's the meaning of parallel lines when you're talking about lines in space. So actually I should probably change this to say not necessarily the same direction vector but where one direction vector is at least just a scalar multiple of the other one. Now if your line is like the blue set of parametric equations it's pretty straightforward to see what your direction vector is in parametric form like this blue line here you can read off what the direction vector for the line is by looking at the a the b and the c which are the coefficients of t because if you remember in the parametric form of a line you had a t plus x naught uh, b t plus y naught c t plus z naught and the a the b and the c was the direction vector where the x not y not z not was some point on the line and and that's really irrelevant to telling if they're parallel or not so right off the bat i can tell the blue line direction vector will be the vector four comma one comma negative two so let's hold on to that one and if the green line has a direction vector that's a multiple of four one negative two they'll be parallel if there, it's not a scalar multiple of 4, 1, negative 2, then they're not parallel. Now what makes this a little bit more challenging, unfortunately, is that the second line here in green, and by the way, I, I did these quick little graphs here, but these aren't, these aren't to scale or anything like that. I just quickly put two lines here. These may or may not be parallel. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but the, the trouble with this one is that I can't quickly read off what the direction vector is because it's not in a form that's conducive to seeing a point on the line and the direction vector for the line. So probably the easiest thing to do will be to quickly convert this guy back to parametric form real fast, which we talked about how to do in our last video, and then read off what the direction vector is. So let's do that real quick. So we'll have x minus five over four. We'll set that equal to a parameter t. Solve for x, you'll have x equals four t plus five. So I can see right off the bat that the a t, or the a in this case, will be four. So let me go ahead and start writing his direction vector. We'll call it vector w or something like that. So that's a four. And that looks pretty promising because that's the same ith component as the other vector. So this is looking pretty good. All right, let's do the same thing for the, for the uh, second component. We'll take y plus 3 over 5, set that equal to a, the same parameter t, which will give us y equals 5t minus 3, right? And so I can see my b t plus y naught. So the b is five, and I I can tell even though I have a third component still to do, there's no reason to really do even worry about the last component. Why? Because I can already tell right now these guys are not going to be scalar multiples of each other. The first components match, but the second component one is a one, one is a five. So I can tell you know that these are not going to be scalar multiples of each other so that means that one direction vector is pointing in a different direction as the other direction vector which means these two lines cannot be parallel so anyways this is how you check to see if two lines are parallel in three-dimensional space um, if your lines in parametric form you can quickly see the direction vector and if it's using symmetric equations then you would change it to parametric form so you can see the direction vector and then you can tell if the two lines are parallel.